there's a few things that we didn't find. And there's loads of galleries still to see. Yeah, there's hundreds. Like the How one many galleries the do you think Caesar? there is in Amsterdam? I think there's at least 12. I think there's about 50. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's loads of galleries <laughs> that... When I find the facts, I'm going to put them here. So yeah. <laughs> how many there actually <laughs> is. <laughs> oh, can I do tips? Yes, let's do tips, Kate. Okay. Bring Please. warm clothes. Top tips for Amsterdam. And waterproofs. Warm clothes and waterproofs because it always rains in Amsterdam, just mm -hmm. like England. And the floor's quite <laughs> uneven, so you get some... Yeah, you've got cobbles, so if you're going in heels, don't bother. You're going to fall over. <laughs> yeah. We didn't have heels, those yeah, we were all wrong. Yeah. Get the, the rail train and it gets you on the public transport. So what do we get? Metro? Ferry. Ferry. Train. Bus and train for th for unlimited for three days is twenty six Euros. It's the best thing we ever bought because we used every mode of transport. Yeah. And some things are quite far from each other walking wise. Because so. Amsterdam's quite big. Amsterdam for me, one of the cons of Amsterdam was it's a lot bigger than I expected. Because in my head and seeing pictures and stuff on Google of Amsterdam, I thought it was going to be like little nice canals and really cute and really a little bit more vintage than it was. But it's actually a massive city with loads of up-to-date shops and all that jazz. And it's a lot bigger than I thought. Like I didn't realise how I far we'd have to travel to be. I suppose you need longer to explore to yeah. find where all those little places yeah. are. But then that could also be a pro because mm -hmm. if you like the big shops and city life, then Amsterdam's for you. It just depends what, what's for you. Yeah. There's loads of colourful buildings. Yes, the colourful buildings are amazing. And the Christmas lights are very and good. The Christmas lights that we They're didn't They're much find. better than what we have in England. <laughs> we didn't find the Christmas festival light festival. <laughs> but saying that, I think it was basically the lights that we saw whilst we were walking yeah. and the festival's more based yeah. on getting a canal boat and oh going yeah because to, to see the main ones i think you had to go on the canal cruise and it was way too wet and cold for us to get on a canal cruise so we didn't do that i got another con con the the the, the transport here is amazing they have no that's a pro oh is it okay yeah now it's got a another pro, pro. <laughs> it's like a con but the opposite um, <laughs> transport is amazing here. The transport is amazing. And they've it's got on double time. decker it's regular. trains. They are on the ball with the transport here. We need this. And double decker trains, which we need back in the UK, because that would solve the overflow of people getting onto the trains in Birmingham. And you could hire a bike if you wanted to. And bikes, there's risk. bikes everywhere. Oh, con. <laughs> <laughs> Just because there's a red light and the green man says go does not mean mm. don't look both ways before you cross that road because we almost got run over by a few bikes because bikes have the run of the roads, basically. Yeah, and they tend to go regardless of the light and they system. And they just go. They head for you. And some of them don't ring their bells, so you're like... <laughs> I would also <laughs> say bring a fanny pack because yes. there's lots of hustle and bustle and loads of people around and... Yeah. You don't know who's who this place. Although I felt really safe walking around in Amsterdam. I felt like, safe. I've but never felt so safe before. Maybe that's just a traveller tip of mine. Yeah. Traveller tip, get a fanny bag or backpack. No. <laughs> <laughs> don't bring a backpack. Here. Or a bum bag. Yeah. Um and mainly because as well, when you go into museums, you have to put your bags in the cloakroom. And your coats. And your coats and everything. They yeah. don't let you take bags and things into oh, the... Oh, and in the Van Gogh But they'll let museum. you take a small bag, so... And Anne Frank's house, you can't take pictures. Can't take pictures. Just so that you know. Well, I feel like we've done a lot of cons. Okay, pros of Amsterdam. Uh, the canals are beautiful. They're really cute. The buildings are amazing. Really nice architect. Pancakes are the best pancakes ever here. And the culture, like this, not culture, the diversity of the people, like there's somebody from every single country here. Mm -hmm. It's like such a diverse um, city. It's lovely. It's nice to see. And the people are friendly. And the people, are you joking? <laughs> <laughs> Most of the people are friendly. Most I'd people say are 90... really, actually no, mo the, the foreigners are friendly. <laughs> yeah. All the mm. foreigners we met were really friendly. Oh, I've found a con again. There's no such thing as queuing here. The queuing system is ridiculous. In Amsterdam yeah so you know in England where we're really polite and we like to queue up for things and we stand there there's just like every man for themselves so even though there's a queue people are just pushing in and getting past and we waited like 15 minutes just for a Burger King and I was next in the line and I was still waiting 15 minutes and to be, fair, just pushing in and I was to there, be like, fair the lady who was serving everyone but you did see and I did snap at her a bit yeah, but it was a given because and she did serve me next to be fair after that yeah so. 
<laughs> I would definitely come back. I think there's so much more to see, especially if you yeah. come in the summer. I, I feel like we've missed quite a bit. I think the flea markets were good. Flea oh yeah, we forgot pro. that. That the was flea ma- uh, that was the pro. highlight actually. Yeah. I think I bought a wardrobe maybe from Did there. You oh, you saw. I got video. a bag, a coat, <laughs> some shoes, jewelry. I think I just didn't get underwear, but how much did you spend? Not a lot. It was some like thirty euros, fifty. No, because you got your shoes as well. So uh, fifty, 50 euros. euros. Fifty euros for a coat, a pair of Timberlands mm-hmm. that were um, pretty much brand new. Yeah. Jewelry and gloves and a bag from Pull and Bear and a bag and bear bag yeah for 50 euros it's a bargain so the top tip go to the flea market if you're here it's only on twice a year so i'm going to put all the links below have a look at the website and plan your visit if you're coming here and you get a free ferry across the water to the flea market yeah there's a tip and there's some amazing buildings you can see on the way yeah really there's nice even buildings. apartments that are actually kind of like floating in water yeah they are they're nice they're i nice. got a video of those actually yeah you they're could on, add it to this video, video maybe it's on the video we'll add it again at the bottom <laughs> so okay so a, a summary of top things to do the flea market van gogh museum and use Frank the public House, transport public transport everywhere um oh the dirty chicken club restaurant the mm-hmm. chicken best chicken ever and really nice gin and go to the square where the and the square yeah yeah, yeah. the nice. square where the palace is yeah. that one yeah the square where the palace is is really good you and it's got pretty like much see all there. the main buildings and you see all the really nice buildings around it and if you're feeling brave hire a bike yeah oh you... and the big library we didn't get to see that but when i was searching things to do in amsterdam there's a really big library where you can go at the very top and see have a really nice view of amsterdam go there Show me your pictures if you go, yeah. because we didn't get to see that. And we didn't get to see the bridge. There's a really nice little white bridge. And apparently legends say that the sisters built it so they could see each other because they lived on it. I think it's the called the Skinny Bridge. The Skinny Bridge. I think it's called the Skinny Bridge. Mm-hmm. We didn't find that. We found a replica of it on mm. the ice rink. <laughs> yeah. But we didn't find the real one. Oh, one last thing. The amazing... <laughs> Um, games cafe we oh, went we to. Oh, we found a games cafe. What was that called? Tonton. 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 A little bit of cider and a little bit of yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. We found this place and it's got like all the arcade games. So it's got like pinball. It's got Pac-Man. It's got Mortal Kombat, like the old retro video game ones. You can sit and have a beer or wine or drink or tea, coffee, whatever. You can play Monopoly. They've got a whole Hold range of board, board games. games. It was and amazing. Card games. And card games. But just be aware, don't be uh, alarmed by the fact that they ask you for a oh, proof yeah. of ID and they keep that they keep the ID. until you give, give the game back to Which them. Which is fair enough because people yeah. might steal them, so it's a good thing to do. But if you if you had a rainy day like we did on that day, go it's a great that. place to go and sit and yeah. just win people at Jenga or Jenga. Jenga. And yeah. people have wrote on the Jenga squares, so there's all like different writing yeah. and stuff. So on if you them, want to call cute. anyone, there's yeah. some numbers on there. <laughs> there are some numbers on there as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> Just depends on what you want to see here. Yeah, have a Google. <laughs> you can close your eyes at other bits, not saying what. Yeah. There's bit, <laughs> parts of Amsterdam that you might not want to walk down, so just avoid those areas. There's too much to talk there's about. Just too much, there's just yeah. There's so much. We didn't yeah. get to do it all, which was a shame, but who knows? Next time, maybe. Maybe. But thumbs up for Amsterdam. So this train has butterflies everywhere. Butterflies on the tables. Butterflies to put your coats on. And butterflies on the speakers. And the ceiling. And the ceiling. How cute is that? And I know Seth Francis will win that. Every time I see butterflies, it makes me think of you, says. We are just at the airport, spending the last of our euros today. Because that's uh, really essential. It is. Um, I'm taking money back. No, there's not. I've got six euros left to spend. I've just spent my last 50 euros on two perfumes, which is a bargain. 49 euros to be precise. 49 euros to be precise for two Emporio Armani She, which is one of my favourites. Um, and that's a bargain so we're gonna go now and try and spend the last of our six euros see what bargains we can find to take home with us so for my 
buy six euros, I could get a box of waffles, or I could get some Amanda stuff. Not sure what it is, but it's only 4 95 so I will still have a euro and five cents left. Or a bag of cookies, 4 95 again. Mm, they smell so good, they smell like Christmas. Glad I didn't buy the waffles because there's some freebies here. Let me try this one. Or I could get a clog. Club with chocolates, look how cute that is. Six euros. That's a maybe. Oh my god, look at this bear. What? It's got a mentor on it now. Ah, it's so fluffy. Have a seat, then. I want to take, take a picture like this. Amsterdam per airport is one of my favourite airports. It's got amazing things. It's got so many nice shops. It's got trolleys that you don't have to pay a pound for to put all your luggage on. And it has a lot of fun things that you can do while you're waiting for your flight. So we've had a great time in like this little science museum bit, which is free. Um, we've been on some swings and took some selfies with some fluffy animals. Amazing, and free trolleys. The free trolley is the highlight. <laughs>